Hey everyone, I just wanted to uh, make a little video, see if I can help some people out on uh, getting this LED to blink to music properly. So what I have here is a couple pieces of wire that I'll be using. Some regular wire. A 3.3 volt 25 milliamp white LED. The tip 31. I believe mine is uh, an AG. It's from Radio Shack. It was like a dollar and some cents. And then a 270 ohm resistor. On my breadboard, I have an audio connector that I made. And then these two blue wires coming from it. represent this one here, the one all the way to the right, is for the right channel audio. And then the one in the center is ground. And then also connected to the breadboard I have just a 9 volt battery connected to the positive and the negative. So, what I'm going to do is uh, just kind of hook everything up. Hopefully you guys can uh, get a pretty good picture of this and uh, won't have any more trouble. Okay. So I'm going to take my tip 31 and I'm going to connect it to these three pins here on the breadboard. When you connect it, make sure the writing on the tip 31 is facing you. just like that. Then the second thing I'm going to connect is the ground from my audio cable. Now the ground wire goes and connects to the pin on the tip 31 that's all the way to the right. Just like that. The second wire is the actual source wire, the positive wire coming from my audio. That's going to connect to the tip 31 on the pin that's all the way to the left. So you should have the positive wire from your audio source on the pin of the tip 31 all the way to the left and the negative wire on the tip 31 all the way to the right from your audio source. The center pin should yet be empty. Now what I'm going to do is connect the negative wire on the pin all the way to the right of the tip 31 and connect that to the negative on my power supply. Okay? Then I'm going to take my 3.3 volt LED. Let's put it somewhere over here with the positive lead on the right and the negative lead on the left. Okay, so I still only have three wires connected to the tip 31. The positive coming from my audio wire, the ground coming from my audio wire, and then the ground going from the right hand side of the tip to the ground on my power supply. Now the center is still blank, so I'm going to fill that right now with a 270 ohm resistor. The color code for 270 ohm is red, purple, brown. It's going to come out of the center of the tip 31 and go to the negative lead of the LED. like that. Okay? And then finally, I'm going to connect the positive lead of the LED 
to the positive on my power supply. Okay? So this is the finished circuit and uh, just to show you some works. Okay, so that is the finished circuit. And it works. Let me just give you a little bit of a tour. Just one last time. Okay, so the 9 volt positive and negative hooked to the positive and negative rail of my breadboard. The ground audio wire is connected to the pin on the furthest right of the tip. The tip writing is facing you. The positive wire from the audio is connected to the leftmost pin of the tip. The center pin of the tip is connected by a 270 ohm resistor to the negative lead of the LED. The furthermost uh, right pin of the tip is connected to ground and then the right lead of the LED or the positive lead of the LED is connected to the power supply. Okay, that is uh, it. If you guys can get that wired up exactly like that then uh, you know you can change it later because there's a couple extra wires here that you can eliminate but um, that's it. You guys should be good. Good luck.